All right, we got a new cooling call for my dad's first cousin. So I guess that would make her my second cousin. Uh, she just says it's not cooling. Let's go see if it's something interesting or what it is. All right, so it looks like we got an Ameristar here, the Chinese Ameristar. It's a four ton. It's, it's blowing ice cold air out the top. And I can't tell if the compressor's running or not, so I'm gonna pull this disc and look at this. That's real nice. Thank God I get my hand. Ooh, that fan motor's about to go. I still can't, I couldn't really tell if the compressor was running. And if y'all can hear that, I'm about to get rained on, so I better hurry up. If I'm not mistaken, these things got two separate capacitors, one for the fan, one for the compressor, but that fan motor's about to go. All right, let me go grab some tools and get her cooling because she's family and that fan motor's about to go out. That should be a 410A machine. I'm gonna go take a look in the attic, see what kind of condition that's in, and go from there. I hate selling family changeouts, but I mean, I don't think she needs a change out right now, but whoever did that job didn't, didn't do a very good job. So I'll see you guys back over there at the end. All right, so I knew I had two separate capacitors. There's the fan. It's a 15. That's ridiculous, and it's wet up there. And then here's the, well, I can't even tell what the compressor one is, but it's been replaced. It's not a, it's not, now that, that fan motor capacitor is original. It's, a, it's an old Chinese capacitor. Got a long screw in here, and hey, here comes the rain. All right, let me go get my umbrella. All right, guys, so I made a uh, big mistake as far as the video. After I said, let me go get my umbrella, which is the Subco Magnetic Umbrella, I got back to the unit, I laid the phone back on top, and I never, I thought I hit the record button, and I didn't. So I had tested the compressor capacitor because it's, as you saw, it's got two separate. It's got one for the fan, one for the capacitor, uh, for the compressor. Both capacitors checked out just fine, but the compressor is not coming on. I took an amp draw. It's not coming on. Also, another thing y'all didn't get to see is that is a R22 dry ship unit. Um, so I'm uh, imagining that the system in the attic is even older. But as you can see from my window, it, it look, the, the Subco umbrella saved my life. So a huge shout out to Subco for, uh, for making those umbrellas with the magnet on them. But I mean, I'm wet, but if it wouldn't be for that umbrella, I'd be a lot wetter. So um, that thing saved my life. It's actually laying right there on the ground because I was getting in the truck and I just threw it on the ground because it's it's coming down really hard. And uh, so the I don't know, you know, I, I gotta get down to the compressor and see if we got a burnt wire or if, it, you know, the, if it needs a hard start or, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, the, the rain was just getting too heavy, even, even with the umbrella and the wind was picking up. So I'm gonna sit here and let this weather calm down and then we'll get back to it. Now I'm probably gonna go ahead and put my mud boots on uh, also because I'm gonna be tromping around in the rain, but, or in the wet, the wet ground, I should say. But I'm really upset that I didn't hit the record button, but we're gonna get back to it as soon as this rain slows up. Okay, the rain slacked off enough where I could get back under my umbrella and come do some troubleshooting. But I wanted to show you guys, this is a 13 sear, four ton, nitrogen charge, R22. So I'm gonna set the phone down right here. And what I wanna do is ohm out the compressor wires and see if there's one burnt. 
on the compressor. That way we don't waste our time taking the top off for nothing. And this will be relatively easy to do because the way that they have the contactor wired up. Okay, I'm gonna have to bend my umbrella. Got my umbrella bent like I want it. The disconnect is out. And I wanna ohm out the common. I'm gonna ohm out the hermetic as well because I wanna make sure all three windings are still touching inside of the compressor. We know it's not shorted the ground because it's not tripping the breaker. Believe me, if it was shorted to ground, more than likely it would be tripping the breaker. Um, so there's our three compressor wires. And now we're just gonna put the continuity, now the rain's starting to fall heavy again, but I've got my umbrella propped up good enough to where it's not bothering me. I'm not getting wet at all. So we're gonna go to continuity. I'm gonna hang my meter inside the cabinet right here. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to hear this with the rain, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Okay, so from common to run, we have continuity. Common to, common to hermetic, we do not have continuity. And common to run, we do not have continuity. So that means there is something wrong. No, I'm sorry, to start, to start. That means there's something wrong with the start winding or the start wire, it's probably burnt off the compressor. Let me check that again. Start to common, we have nothing. And then start to run, we have nothing. I just want to make sure I'm making a good connection. I know I am. Nothing. Nothing. But if I do start. Yep. Common to common to run, excuse me, we have continuity. But common to start, we have absolutely no continuity. And then run to start, we have no continuity. So there's definitely something wrong with that start wire. It's probably burn off the compressor. So this is gonna be a, uh, a fun one to try to get done in this weather. And according to the radar, we have several more hours of this weather coming. And I really, really need to get them some air because my dad's aunt slash godmother lives in that house as well with his first cousin. And she's very elderly and uh, she needs the AC. It's about 82 degrees in that house. And I mean, and that's to even say if I can even get this unit to run, you know, I don't know, this compressor may be no good or, you know, it may have blew. I mean, let me poke this thing with this Schrader core with my knife and even see if we got any Freon in this damn machine. Yep, we still got Freon, so it didn't blow the terminal. So it probably just burnt the wire off and if we can get that wire put back on, this damn thing will fire up, but there's just no way I can do that in this weather. And I'm gonna put the cover back on because I'm gonna go back and sit in a truck because there's nothing more that I can do, but at least I was able to come troubleshoot that I do have an issue with one of my wires. And I wanna put this disconnect in upside down so I don't have to carry it to the truck with me. Oh, nope, that's the right way. Okay, now she's in upside down. There's no power flowing. I'm gonna 
put the bag back together. The bag is wet. Straighten out the umbrella. And we're gonna take a walk back to the truck and waste this out. Believe me, in 20 years, this is not the first time I've done some shit like this, but this magnetic umbrella has made it a lot easier. You can see the rain just... All right, so we're doing a little bit of troubleshooting and then going back to the truck and waiting it out. So we know we got a good compressor capacitor. We also know that we have a good fan capacitor. Now we know that the, uh, well, hell, I guess it could, no, it, it's definitely the start, the start wire. We know that common, is, the common wire is good, and we know that, we know that the common wire is good, we know that the run wire is good, but we know that something is wrong with the start wire on the compressor. It's probably burn off. So, we can get that fixed. It'll probably fire up. All right, I'm gonna go sit back in the truck. Okay, we're back over here. The rain is extremely light. I still have the umbrella, but instead of bringing the whole tool bag, I just brought the necessities. This is a damn Chinese unit. I gotta flip my bit. I hope that this bit will even grab this shit. Yeah, it does. Oh man, I didn't bring my cup. All right guys, I, I'm not gonna be able to film this with the weather. I'll get the top off and then we'll get back to y'all. All right, gentlemen, it that cover fought me, but she's toast. Can't even see. Let me turn the light on. That's the start wire that we weren't getting continuity through. I don't even know. If I can get a terminal repair kit on that thing. Oh man, it's just, oh yeah, it's flaking apart in my hand. I can try. All I can do is try. Okay, that one's still intact and this one's still intact. It's just this one. I'd have to try to get a, a spade on there. Hey, well, a repair kit. But this is not looking good. All right, guys, we might've gotten lucky. I got that quick lug on there and they make the wires really long now so you don't have to splice them because I was gonna splice into the white wire right here but now I'm just gonna eliminate that. So let me grab my cutters if I can find them. Maybe in my back pocket, no. I have lost, there's my meter in the bottom of the unit. Now I don't know what I did Oh, here they are. The, the rain has pretty much stopped. I can probably get rid of the umbrella. But I'm just going to chop that off. Because there will not be any voltage passing through that wire anymore. Okay, we're going to set the umbrella off to the side. Because it's, it's just dripping off the soffit now. You know what? Let's go ahead and close this thing. There we go.
lifesaver right there, baby. If you don't have one, get you one. All right. So, freaking eight bolts in that damn condenser fan motor lid. Contactor still pulled in. So, I'm gonna feed this wire through here and hook it up to the start on, or the hermetic on the capacitor. see the wire coming through. All right, I'll put a, now I can go get my bag when I'm done since the rain has stopped. But I wanna put this top back on. Nope, let me get my meter out of there. All right. This is gonna be hard to do. Put the meter over here. Put these tools over here. All righty. Put this top back on. Now I'll tell you what. This is my first. This is not my first Chinese Ameristar, but it is my first time going this in depth in one, like taking the lid off and stuff like that. And I hate to say it, but it's a pretty damn heavy built machine. And it's Chinese. It's, I mean, it's sturdy. But this is just going to be a patch. To get her through the weekend, it's currently, uh, today's Thursday. So I told her if this will get her through the weekend, that'll give us time to work her up some quotes. On a 14 sear and a 16 sear and see which way she wants to go with it. Once we get this running, we'll go take a look in the attic. All right. That's all put back together. Need the 10 in one. Still got to put these two wires back on. Ooh, everything's black on this thing. Thank God I remember uh, what side they go on. I remember that the black was over here. And you can also tell by your jumpers that your red one goes here because this jumps to the capacitor and this jumps to the fan capacitor. And this compressor should start after I hook that blue wire up. Contactor's been replaced on this unit as well. The only thing that hasn't been replaced is that fan capacitor. <sighs> Man. All right, so the white wire is off and the blue wire I'm not gonna cut it and re-spade it. It's just gonna take the white wire's place. There we go. And then I will give it some slack in there and I will zip tie it. But for right now, I'm just gonna kind of fold it to where it's out of the way. Okay, and then this one is no longer has any kind of power going to it but I'd like to cut the end off of it. All right, I got the end cut off of it. There's no power flow into that bar. Now I'm gonna flip this disconnect. Let's see if that damn compressor will start. sure she started. Take a hand draw and find out. Oh yeah, I can feel the suction line getting cold already.
here we are. Let me wipe my lens. There we go. 16 point something amps on the whole system. Wow. 15.6 on just the compressor. Let's see what the outdoor fan motor's doing. That'll be this one. 1.4. So let's take a look at the data tag. Oh yeah, she's pulling good heat now. The data tag calls for an 18 run load amp and a 1.7, so we're actually under it. 18 and 1.7. Compressor's doing 14.2, 14.1 on the compressor. The outdoor fan, which is this one. Oh, that didn't sound good. 1.3 and it calls for a 1.7. Oh yeah, she's pulling hot air. Suction line is cool. I'm gonna go get my quick gauge. All right, I got my cover back on and I'm running a little over 75 pounds of suction pressure. That's, that's about right for the indoor temperature. It's over 80. Damn, I keep hearing some kind of popping noise, man. I don't know what the hell that is. Is, but boy, she's pulling some hot, some hot, hot air. Okay, so, something, something ain't jiving here. Stay here and watch it. Alright. The Ameristar. I'm guessing it's a damn Ameristar. Well, there's no badge on it, but that's what it is. It's, oh yeah, it's cool. You can see the where I've been leaving my tracks everywhere with this mud, but now I'm going into the attic because she said the unit in the attic's even older than this one. And this one's a R22 drive ship, so it's got to be at least 10 years old or older. How to tell all oh, the serial numbers worn off of this thing, so I have no idea how old this thing is. But it's old enough where I know it's a good place because it's R22. She's lucky the charge is good because I don't have any R22, or we would have been uh dumping it out and putting 427A. But now we're going to uh put the umbrella up and go get in the attic and check things out up there. All right, guys family or not she needs a change out bad look at this duck work look at that all nine runs look 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 all the way down there and then she's got an A48 dash 20 from 1999 Goodman Air Handler. The supply plenum's gonna go. The only thing I'll keep is that return. That return does look good. We'll keep that. But the supply plenum, shit, that thing looks like it's only three foot long. It's gotta go. This, this unit's gotta be lifted. Yeah, this, this, this is bad. All right, guys, we're pulling away. My feet are soaking wet, but the rest of my body's not too bad thanks to that umbrella. So I'm gonna post some uh, pictures of her duct work. She's got uh, nine duct runs, nine or 10. Huh. We got a new company here in town with a train sticker and his company name. I'm not gonna say it. You could tell he lives here and he's got 
an area code of where I used to live from out of town. So anyway, I, I, that, I was, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. So again, to recap this call, she is my second cousin. She's my dad's first cousin. Her mother is my dad's aunt slash godmother. And in South Louisiana, in the French and Cajun culture, that would be his nanny, uh, his godmother. And now this is the, the daughter's house though, his cousin, very nice house. And uh, the mother is, you know, she's ill. Uh, she's in her 80s. I think she's got a touch of Alzheimer's. They have therapists in there with her right now. <clears throat> I did get the air working, as you saw. The clamp did work. Compressor came right on, and it already dropped it about two degrees before we left. But when I got in the attic, you saw we had a 1999 Goodman Brown. Oh, I missed my turn. Uh, we had a 1999 Goodman Tan Air Handler, the one with the really short model number. It was an A48-20. That means basically the A stood for air handler, the 48 stood for 48,000 BTUs, which is a four ton, and the dash, and then the 20 stood for 20KW. It came with the heat strips already installed. You didn't have to do it. Like now, you know our heat strips come in a separate box and we have to install them. Well, on those air handlers, Goodman said, no, what size heat kit do you want? Because we got air, our air handlers already have the heat kit in them, which I kind of like. I wish they'd still do that. But anyway, you know, it's because now there's, you, you know, people are using 15 KWs with three tons and all that. So any, anyway, that's besides the point. But you guys got a shot of the duck work and I'm going to post the pictures. I mean, her duck work is just, she's, she's cooling more of the attic than she is her own house. And, uh, I mean, of course she's going to get the family discount. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I still have to make some money off of it, but she is family. So she's going to get a very heavy discount compared to anybody else. And, uh, we got to replace nine duct runs. That looks like a little three foot plenum. We're going to put a, at least a six foot plenum, possibly an eight, but at least a six. We're going to leave the return, but we're going to have to modify the return because I want to lift the system up. Um, we may have to change the return air. I don't know. We'll see. Um, or I'll blank it off and put a return plenum and put a big piece of flex which I'd rather not do that I'd rather just tie it all in straight to metal but the flex would quiet it down we'll, we'll see we'll see but I, I'm definitely got to lift that unit up it's sitting too low the drain needs to be repiped it needs a new supply plenum with nine new duct runs and a new condensing unit and that ought to do it and I Honestly, guys, I couldn't tell you if it's going to be a Ream, a Comfort Maker, a Bryant. Equipment has gotten so scarce here. I hope it is a Ream. I hope it's in stock. But Ream's been kind of hard to get our hands on lately. And, of course, I haven't been doing many change outs. Like I told y'all, with this weather, this, I mean, I mean, look, I worked in the rain. And I got two coils to change tomorrow, two mobile home coils, and hopefully there's no rain. But, uh, anyway, uh... I don't want to babble on too long. This has probably been stretched out to a long video as it is, but I'll try to cut it as short as I can without leaving out some of the key points. But I got the air back on before the weekend. Again, today's Thursday, August the 11th. Tomorrow's Friday. I wanted to get the air back on. That gives me the weekend to get her some pricing together. And uh, see which way she wants to go with it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I usually don't film change outs, but I'll try to film. Well, you guys saw them before, but I'll, I'll at least try to film the after. Like when we're done, I'll go upstairs and show you what we did, you know. But I just, I can't film a change out, guys. You know, of me actually doing the work. A lot of you guys ask for, I mean, I can do it on just a condenser. But as far as the air handler and all that, I just don't have time to set up cameras and all that. But I can give you guys an after shot of what the product looks like when we're done. So um, 
Until the next one, I appreciate the support. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.